Many black Americans consider June 19th or Juneteenth to be Independence Day. That's the day that the last enslaved people in this country were freed, but the celebration was bittersweet because they learned about their freedom over two years after the Emancipation Proclamation was signed. Joining us to talk about Juneteenth in the city of Los Angeles are City Councilman Karen Price, Marquise Harris Dawson, and Mark Ridley Thomas. Thank you so much for being here. Delighted to Thank be you. here. So, Juneteenth seems to be growing in popularity in the city of Los Angeles. Why do you think that is? The unrest uh, related to uh, social justice and, and equity has permeated down. And certainly there's a greater awareness now of, of Juneteenth, greater appreciation of its historical significance, and a great appreciation for the need to celebrate it. As we talk about this uh, racial reckoning and a revaluation of our, our values and history, bringing greater equity uh, into uh, our society, uh, we're taking a look at these kinds of issues, these kinds of programs, and certainly Juneteenth has been a topic of celebration within the black community. Now others outside that community are understanding and appreciating the importance and value of it. I think what you see over time is the story of black people in this city more and more becoming central to the overall uh, narrative about uh, what Los Angeles and Southern California is. The black community helped build this community and helped make it the creative capital of the world, and so our story is one that's on the front page. I think it's important to keep these stories front and center as a reminder for how far we can fall if we are not vigilant. Given the fact that uh, Los Angeles is one of the largest population centers for African Americans. It is very difficult to imagine uh, that there wouldn't be uh, celebrations, and many of them, large and small, far and wide, to pay attention to and to pay homage to the high points and the low points of the African American sojourn in the United States of America. That's what it's about, I think. Juneteenth is kind of a look backward and a look forward to say, this is where we were, and we ain't never going back there again. 